What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you all have a fantastic day today. And today we have the Dallas, Miami, and Atlanta trip conclusion video from January 10th through 13th of 2023 for y'all. I really hope each and every one of you are looking forward to today's video. And without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started everybody. So welcome to the trip conclusion for Dallas, Miami, and Atlanta. This was a super fun trip and certainly set the tone for the year. So I was really glad to get to share all of this over the last three months. And ultimately I thought the content went really well. And as you can see here, we have 12 videos currently in the playlist to take a look at but there'll be more coming soon as the in-flight videos will be added to this playlist very soon so be sure to stay on the lookout for that but nevertheless let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit here so we can start taking a look at all the uh, videos that we had here so far from the trip so absolutely absolute blast on this trip had a great time there was so many uh, special memories from it and ultimately I just thought that there was so many uh, monumental moments and so many memories to come through this content so if you haven't got a chance to watch it all I can't recommend it enough but of course we're gonna do our summary here and then I'll appoint you to all the videos if you want to check those out but nevertheless let's go ahead and get started with the summary and talk about it from there we started off the trip on January 10th of uh, riding Amtrak for the very first time so this is my very first train ride from Oklahoma City to Fort Worth on Amtrak's Heartland Flyer really great to get on Amtrak for the first time and see what a train's like uh trains are really cool and we also see more of them coming up on the channel and one of my favorite parts from this trip is it induced many new content forms to come on my channel such as trains and some others that we'll talk about in the future but yeah I think trains are a really nice uh, mix up here on the channel. I know there's many so much overlap between Ape Geeks and uh, train enthusiasts. So I thought that worked really well and I'm glad so many of you enjoyed that. I was surprised by the view count there. So I'm glad everybody enjoyed it and I hope that everybody is excited for the future of train videos on this channel. But you can certainly expect many of them as they'll become commonplace here throughout and we have some really fun ones coming up. So I'm looking forward to sharing many videos on trains going forward. But again, really awesome getting on train for the very first time. Kind of like a plane kind of isn't, moves slower but still it certainly gets the job done the seats are really nice and spacious so that's really cool and expect more fun train videos coming up in the near future so I thought that was really great and ultimately I was very pleased with how that went to start out the year so that was absolutely fantastic that put us in position for our first plane spotting video of the trip, which was at Dallas Fort Worth International Airport on January 10th, 2023. It was a beautiful winter day as we got some really great pictures of various specials like TWA, the Lutanza 340, Star Alliance livery, Avianca had the Star Alliance there too. So there was a bunch of really cool planes. Highly recommend checking out that video if you're interested, but that was a great uh, plane spotting session from the Skylink. Skylink always goes well, so I was really glad that that uh, particular uh, spotting session went really great and really enjoyed all the various components of it. So that was awesome. And ultimately, I thought that that was a really uh, great way to kick off plane spotting for this trip. And it was super, super fun. From there, uh, and also I thought I, sh I should clarify, uh, we got from Fort Worth to DFW International through um, the Trinity Rail Express, so that went well. And then they have a shuttle from that station south of DFW to DFW Airport. So that went really well as we were getting ready for our flight on the uh, Dreamliner coming up. We'll talk about that here in a moment. We do have one more video to intervene before we take a look at that flight though. And that was our very first airport lounge on the channel. So yet another new form of content coming and this was the admirals club really enjoyed this video it was really fun to make this one the admirals club is super nice and it kind of had to be makeshift since i didn't have very many pictures or videos from the admirals clubs but we got to check out three locations and really see what they're all about so really enjoyed that admirals clubs are absolutely fantastic and if you do get an opportunity to visit one i can't recommend it enough but ultimately i had a great time and i certainly will come back and follow up on that video once i have more applicable footage and pictures to really give us a good grasp of it but that video is pretty informational and there's a bunch of good material in there so i highly recommend checking it out but very excited for uh, just like the trains more airport lounge videos coming in the future so stay on the lookout for those and this trip really like i said induced many of these new content forms that we're going to see so ultimately i was very pleased with the, to say the least uh, perhaps the best video of the trip. There was some really, really great ones, but one that certainly stood out like no other was this trip port on my very first uh, 787. And this was with American Airlines from Dallas, Fort Worth to Miami. This was so fun. You can just see by the thumbnail there that really sets the tone with the sunset. It was such a great flight. American Airlines really has a great product on their Dreamliners. And I had a great time on this flight in main cabin that it was an experience to remember to say the least. That sunset was so great. And in all ways, this flight was just truly stupendous. So I really enjoyed it. it was 
was an absolute blast and I can't recommend checking out that trip port enough. The sunset really speaks for itself. That was certainly the highlight of the trip and definitely stay on the lookout for the in-flight videos that those will be coming out. But that sunset was truly stupendous and it was so much fun. So ultimately a great time and that was absolutely fantastic. Also, if you're wondering, the thrust reduction HD videos will be put into this playlist as well. So don't worry about that if you like to watch them uh, fluidly through the playlist as I'll put them in here and uh, hopefully it'll be in chronological order and all of that. So really fun trip port. That was an absolute blast and had a really great time on my very first Dreamliner. That was so much fun, very fun. Next up, we had another new form of content come to the channel, and that was with model aircraft stores. Our very first iteration was at the Miami Airplane Shop at the Miami International Airport. This was an absolute blast. I had a really great time at Miami International Airport, as you can see right here. So ultimately, it was just a really great experience getting to check out uh, this airplane shop in their new location at MIA. We got to see so many various aircraft, Gemini 1 the 400s, Gemini 1 the 200s, Skymarks, Herpas, all kinds of really cool brands. And they have a bunch of really great planes in there, so I can't recommend enough checking out that video. We'll have plenty of videos on model aircraft stores coming in the future, so certainly stay on the lookout for those. There's a bunch of really great ones in the United States and beyond, and I'm excited to cover them here on the channel throughout these trips. So ultimately an absolutely fantastic time at my very first model aircraft store and I really enjoyed the experience. So, well, I guess my second one with the first one here on the channel is I got to visit the, my, or sorry, the airplane shop in Las Vegas in 2015. So certainly hope to get back out there to check that one out and make a video on that. But ultimately the Miami airplane shop was great and I really enjoyed that experience to say the least and also need to make it to the uh, location in New Jersey as well. So really fun time right there to say the least. Not trying to click on any of these videos, just uh, was getting weird in the sequence. So let me see, I'm gonna have to come over here and then click off of it. And then maybe from here we can scroll down. Let's try it. Yes, okay, and then another very substantial video from this trip was the plane spotting at Miami International Airport. That was a really great video and I can't recommend it enough, but we got to see so many fun heavies like that Luton 747-8 Retro, IT Airbus A330-200, Latam Boeing 7300, and so many more. Miami's full of all kinds of surprises. You'll see in that video where we're talking about the Convair uh, that landed and also the DC-3, really great. And it was so fun to get to catch all those aircraft along with all the heavies and also just all the American Airlines aircraft and all the various normal aircraft in the beautiful lighting. It just went crazy. What a beautiful plane spotting day that was there at Miami. And that was so fun. So that video is really great. I really can't recommend it enough. You kind of have to watch it to get the perception because there was so much going on there. So many heavies, so many great moments, so many specials. It was truly a day to remember. And I'll remember that one for the rest of my life, no doubt about it. So love Miami. It's a great place. Hope to go back very soon. What a fantastic spotting video that was. And can't recommend watching that one enough if you like plane spotting. And that was certainly a great video. So I was very pleased with that to say the least. Very fun video right there. And then from there, we had the Delta Airlines Boeing 757-300 trip port, and that was from uh, Fort Lauderdale to Atlanta. Really enjoyed making that video. That was really fun. First Boeing 757-300, and I had a great time. First 757 in a very long time, but great to get to hear the Pratts and the power up and the thrust reduction. The Delta product on their 757s is really great. So that was awesome to assess there in a preferred seat. Had a really great time checking out Fort Lauderdale. Super nice airport as well. So ultimately, that was a really fun flight right there. And I can't recommend watching that video enough too if you like the flight portions. But it was so much fun to check that one out and see what the 737-300 was all about. And also get a one the foreign scale model of the exact registration too. Not to mention for the 787 too. So now if I can somehow come across a 717 uh, with 927 Alpha Tango on it, I'll have all my planes from this trip, which would be so special. But we're certainly making great progress here. And I'm really pleased about the Delta. 77300 uh, trip port there and how well that turned out. So really fun video. I can't recommend checking it out enough. Delta has a great 753 and it was certainly so much fun to get to do to say the least. So that was an absolute blast. I was really happy with that. And then yet again, another new form of content as we headed over to our first aviation museum on the channel, and that was the Delta Flight Museum. You got to see so much great um, aviation history in here with the spirit of Delta 767-200, which is quite a fun story, and I can't recommend checking out that video enough if you're curious on it. Uh, the DC-3 that's over there in the other room's awesome, and they have a full uh, collection of model aircraft in the back between the retro retro hangar and the retro hangar, so that was really fun to take a look at. And there was so much to see there. I had a great time in the Delta Flight Museum. 
And you'll also be seeing at some point in the future, the one day collectible show that took place there in October of 2023. That was an absolute blast to get to attend and get to return to. So again, hope to get back to Delta Flight Museum in the future. Hopefully Airliners International will return there since their last visit in 2019. It is so much fun and I can't recommend it enough. One of the coolest venues in the United States for aviation enthusiasts and you're not gonna get bored there. So had a great time at the Delta Flight Museum. It was so much fun. Who knows, maybe we'll get to go back for the 2024 show, we'll have to see. But I'm looking very forward to it and it's gonna be an absolute blast. So really fun time at the Delta Flight Museum. Check out that video, so much to go into there and it was absolutely fantastic. Okay, so these uh, videos are actually sequenced wrong. So let me actually go ahead and fix this as we speak right here because I'd rather talk about the museum in its entirety first. So the next video we have is the first, uh, yet another first on this channel. And that's gonna be the aircraft exhibit uh, series for the Delta 747 exhibit that they have at the Delta Flight Museum. So cool to get to check it out. So at the Delta Flight Museum, they have this Boeing 747 for Delta that you can literally get in and take a look at. This video does a really good job going into all the components you can expect from that, but man, and it was so much fun. I had an absolute blast checking out that Boeing 747. Man, what an experience. You just, you really can't describe it. The video does a really good job, but you get to see Delta One up there in the front. The wing walk is super fun. You also get to see uh, various components of the aircraft as they have see-through glass, which is really cool. The cockpit's absolutely fantastic. So ultimately, it's a great experience and I can't recommend it enough. So those two go hand in hand. Really great to get to check out the Delta uh, 747 exhibit and that was absolutely awesome. So I had a blast with that and that was super fun to say the least. That was great. And of course, no airport video would be complete without plane spotting. So here's our first one from Alance Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. This thumbnail speaks for itself. It was quite a special day. It started out overcast and uh, fair temperatures. All the heavies came in, huge rainstorm came through, even a tornado watch was issued. But luckily the sun started coming out at the end and we got some very cool pictures, including that 717. So had a great time on that. That was an absolute blast. That video really speaks for itself. So the plane spotting really does. Uh, you can kind of infer the rest of it but all of the videos kind of talk for themselves. So that was so fun and I really enjoyed it. So highly recommend checking out not only that one, but also the Friday morning spotting. So this was on January 12th. This was on January 13th. So really enjoyed this spotting session. There's a Jet 1X 747, but there was a bunch of really fun plane spotting on that morning. We got a bunch of really interesting pictures. So that was really fun. I can't recommend checking that one out enough if you're interested. So really fun plane spotting. Ultimately, there was so many different planes and Alliance is just loaded with so many Delta aircraft. So it was really fun to finally get to catch all of them and really excited for more upcoming Atlanta plane spotting in the future. So definitely stay on the lookout for that. But ultimately, I was very pleased with both those plane spotting sessions. And again, they kind of talk for themselves. So I highly recommend checking them out if you're interested. In our final main video from this trip, again, the in-flight videos will be coming out and I'll put them in the playlist very soon, but was this Delta Airlines Boeing 717 trip report? And this was from Atlanta to Oklahoma City. Really fun finally getting to fly my first 717, my first uh, McDonnell Doubles aircraft frame, if you wanna call it that, or however you wanna call it, since 2019 when I did the Delta MD-88 from here as well. Really fun flight, it was so good. The thrust reduction and power up were absolutely outstanding. We got some great views over various regions of the southeastern United States. Had an absolute blast, Delta's fantastic. They did a great job with this flight and I was super glad and appreciative to get the flight to 717. And like I said, hopefully maybe Jim and I will release that exact registration so I can complete my having all aircraft registrations in my model fleet, which is just absolutely absurd to even think about. But you know, I've just been real fortunate and that's how it happened here. So. Overall, this was a really monumental trip for the channel. You uh, may have noticed that we had like five new types of content that will come out, which is really exciting. So going back to reflect on those since this trip really started that. Airport lounges will be really prominent. So certainly, well, uh, pretty prominent, I would say, but certainly it will be long-term. So stay on the lookout for that. By long-term, I'm talking like in the next three, four years. I mean, I'm trying to get all this out as fast as I can. I've thought about double daily uploading. I might do it. We'll see how far in event and caught up I can get. But at this time, at the, we'll just keep it uh, steady. I'm sorry if I'm kind of stumbling on my words. I've been really grinding on that scripts recently. So my free talking has been a little all over the place, but we'll see what we can do. But definitely uh, expect more of that long-term, especially trains will be more near term. So expect them as well. So I'm looking forward to that and public transportation as well. We'll certainly be covering a bunch of that. Trip ports for, for themselves. Uh, the model aircraft stores, especially within the next couple of years, will certainly get rocking. So st stay on the lookout for those. Really excited to cover all of that. And then of course, plane spotting is gonna be very prominent on the upcoming trips. Trip ports, uh, we have some really good aircraft types coming up. We have a couple of 
smaller trips that we got to get through first so we'll start knocking those out as fast as we can and we'll be back into really fun trips and i'll talk about those here more in a moment and then of course uh the museums those will be really prominent stand look up for those not just civil museums but also military museums with uh, military aircraft so looking for that and even navy and a couple of others so that'll be awesome aircraft exhibits will also be a little hit or miss i think that we have a good few but this one definitely was the big one so expect more of those and we talked about plane spotting and did i miss any other videos uh trip boards we're going to be going strong as always so you're probably wondering what the next step here is for the channel uh i was i was kind of hopeful that this would last until the end of december so we just go strong into 2024 but obviously it didn't quite make it there so what the plan is is here for December, we will work on the Austin day trips. So that obviously is three Southwest flights in the Austin spotting video and also Austin infrastructure video. And a Dallas level field one will be coming in the future at some point, so stand look out for that. So we'll be doing that. And then following uh, that trip, we'll have my family trip to Cabo where we flew two American flights, one United, one Southwest. So we'll uh, march through that probably fairly fast. I'm going to try to see if I can do it on two week intervals because I would, if we could start the year on the DFW one day show, I think that would be really good as that will be the following trip after Cabo as we had the DFW one day show in April of 2023. We had two American flights off of that, one of which was in first class. So that was really cool. The DFW one day show at the CR Smith Museum, Frontiers Museum of Flight, plane spotting among other aviation activities. So definitely want to get those rocking. So looking forward to that. Following that trip, then we had the uh, Indianapolis, Dayton, Ohio, and Cincinnati uh, trip, which was really fun. We have a bunch of great plane spotting content, model stores, aviation museums from that one. So looking forward to sharing all that. MTS Aviation Models, the Air Force Museum in Dayton, and spotting at IND and CVG will be absolutely great. And then following that, that I believe uh, puts us into the really, really big trip from July of 2023, which encompassed the North, uh, Pacific Northwest in Canada. There's so much to go over in that trip, so I'll save it for one of these upcoming uh, trip conclusions, and we'll kind of talk about it a little bit more in depth, but I'm excited to share that. There's so many great videos, prop planes, museums, model stores, plane spotting, all the aviation activities. So I'm looking very forward to that. I hope each and every one of you are as well, but this trip was very special, really kicked off what 2023 has been, and I'm looking forward to talking about this more in the future. But nevertheless, uh, that's it for the trip, everybody. Really fun. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Again, well, I guess not it, actually, because there will be the in-flight videos. So stay on the lookout for those on Thrust Production HD, and I'm looking forward to sharing all those, and I hope each and every one of you are excited to watch them. So with all that being said, everybody, that'll do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed the trip. My name is Red Drive Aviation. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do what you love and love you do. My name is Red Drive Aviation. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon as Red Drive Aviation is signing off.